Hi everyone and welcome to Himas Academy. Today I'll show you how to make a driving game using Scratch. This is how it will look like after we're done. You have to use the arrow keys to move. You can move by using left, right and front and down. You can also see the road number. If you go off road, then you go back to the starting. You have multiple roads, so you can make more any time you're done. Now I'll show you how to make this. I opened a new project and drew a car sprite on Scratch. Next, I'll make my backdrop. I'll make a big square with no outline. So a big square right in the center with a grayish color. Next, I'll code the car first. When green flag clicked, forever, if I'm sensing key or because if you want to use the WASD controls or the up and down arrows. So if up or W is pressed, then move 10 steps. Point in direction 90. move 10 steps then i'll duplicate this whole thing when down arrow clicked or s arrow clicked then move minus 10 steps which is the opposite now i can move front and back Next, I'll duplicate this again for my right arrow. If right arrow clicked or D arrow clicked, then turn right by 15 degrees. You can adjust this later, but now I can move. And you have to do the same for left. So if left arrow clicked or A clicked, then turn left 15 degrees. Now I can move both left and right, front and down. Next, I'll make my backdrop. So in backdrops, I'll choose the line tool, a light gray line with a hundred thickness for the road. I'm using black for my road. So I make a line right through the center. Next, I'll move it to the center and keep the thickness 125. 
So I have to adjust the car to this. So when green flag clicked, point in direction 90 in the starting, then go to the starting position, which is here. So go to minus 212 and zero. Next. Switch backdrop to backdrop one. And then delete my variable. Make a variable called road number. Road. You can make this for the sprite only, but then it will show the sprite name. So I'll set this for all sprites. Forever. Set road number to backdrop number. First, if it's backdrop number one, then it's road number one. Next. When green flag clicked, forever. If touching color. So if we're touching color of the side then we want to go to back to the starting so this is how it will be like I can move but if I go off the road I go back to starting. Next. And the starting also point in direction 90. So this is optional. And next. I'm going to reshape my road. So I select the reshape tool and make two points, one near my starting and one near my end so it doesn't move. I made a point in the middle and dragged it down. You can turn it or make it pointed. You can do it whatever shape you like. But I'm going to do it like this. Next, if we're touching the edge, we should go to the next road. So I'll paint the sprite, just a thin line. Five, and then right at the edge or anywhere. You can hold shift to make it a straight line. I'm going to move this to the middle and we get this line and I'll put it right at the edge. I'll call this next. Now I'll duplicate this for back. 
this is going to be at the opposite edge and this is going to tell us when we want to go back so this is going to be previous next and previous the next when green flag is clicked set ghost effect to 100 or and show A hundred so we can't see it, but it's still there. So this is mostly it. And then just go to this position. So to 40 x zero. And it goes there and it becomes invisible. Next, for previous, it will go at the other edge. It will be the same code for next. So you can drag it into here. And instead of these coordinates, it will be over here. And Y is 0. Now we have these two set. When green flag click for previous forever, if the background is one, then it should hide. If backdrop number equals one, Because if we go back on number one, we'll reach the end. So it should hide if it's number one. Hide or else show. And we don't need the show at the starting. But now it's not there. In car, when we in flag click, forever, if it's touching next, then next backdrop. If it's touching previous, then we don't have previous backdrop, so switch backdrop to backdrop minus one, which will give us the number before. And we can put that into there. The last thing we have to do is make more roads. So this is the main thing. And also, in the starting, we don't want it to touch previous. When we're going to the next road, we have to go back to the starting. But that starting shouldn't be touching previous. I'll duplicate backdrop one and make another road. And then duplicate it again and make all the roads I need. You have to make sure that your backdrops are in different shapes or it will be too easy. 
So I made four backdrops. Now I'll test it. First save and then go. Yeah, it's working. So in car, this is it. And we can also make friction. So a variable called XV forever. When green flag is clicked forever. If we repeat until if key up or key down is clicked. Then set XV to um, five. Repeat until not be up or down. Set actually change XV by negative zero point five, and then move XV steps for down. XV times negative 1, which will give us the opposite of XV. So I'll take off this part. And then you'll see we are going backwards. Here, we need another OR. Or XV equals zero. So if it's zero, don't move. And this should be zero point one to make it a bit better. You can change the friction a bit, set the starting to 10, and then this is a bit better. I'll keep this back on and save it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.